up every morning with drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble Let Hello and welcome in to the Rookie Prospect Profile series. This is a Zilla Fantasy Elite production. If you have been enjoying these neural network models, machine learning models, our studio, please hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate you tuning in today. And today we're going to be looking at running back Emery DeMarcado. Emery DeMarcado was not drafted in the 2023 NFL Draft, but they do find themselves on the Arizona Cardinals football team. They come into the league out of TCU as they were backing up Mr. Kendra Miller during this past season. So looking at some of their physical traits, we can see that Emery DeMarcado comes in at a height of 5'10", 215 pounds, giving us a BMI of 30.8. They ran a 40 time of 4.49, which is very solid, and giving us an overall speed score of 105.8. That is very good, considering he was a backup running back. He couldn't ask for much more than that. Putting their physical traits, along with some of their college numbers, into the RStudio regression model, we do get a prospect score of 9.632. This does rank 281st overall out of the 310 running backs in the RStudio Models database. This is 9.4 percentile. Shifting over to see who the closest comparables are to Emery DiMarcado in their prospect score, we see that the next closest better than him are Jawan Thompson, Alfonso Smith, Josh Harris, Matt Breida, and Rod Smith. In the five closest below are Tony Jones, Caleb Huntley, Tommy Bohannon, Theo Riddick and Zonovan Knight. Not a super inspiring list here. Theo Riddick uh, had a few years there where he was super good, but uh, more of a scat back, super slow. He's actually one of, one of the bottom ones, as you can see in the RStudio model there, but uh, more of a receiving back and beneficial in those PPR leagues, but not so much in the standard leagues. Anyway, those are the closest comparables in the R Studio model. I wouldn't put a, a ton of stock into him, you know, replicating any of these things. Maybe Zonovan Knight would be a, a good comp for him in terms of size and speed, but you know, Zonovan Knight getting buried on his own depth chart with a bunch of other running backs there. Obviously, he didn't go drafted last year, just the same as Emery De Mercado. But on different teams, Arizona does have a wide open backfield. Um, probably after this year, so it remains to be seen whether he can carve out a role there. Switching now to that machine learning model for Emery Di Mercado, we can see that he comes in at 8.45 for his mean, 8.48 on the median, the minimum prediction there at 4.98, and the maximum prediction only at 11.88 overall. That actually was the very worst maximum rank in the entire prospect series. Out of 36, he did rank 36, so just keep that in mind. Getting into those percentile ranks, he was uh, 6.35, 7.19, 9.69, and 7 point, excuse me, 10.72 for the 10th, 25th, 75th, and 90th percentile outcomes should he get those 80 opportunities in a season. And they had an M50 gap of 2.50. So what does this kind of mean for Mr. Emery DiMercato? Who can we expect him to kind of mimic in the league should he get 80 opportunities in a season? Well, as we heard, the, the max prediction was not very high, but getting into the, the mean prediction, that was also not very good, but that was at 8.45. Um, just sitting in that range in between 8.3 and 8.54, we're looking at Patrick Laird, Marcel Reese, Zonovan Knight, which we did see in his R Studio prospect. Uh, we've seen that several times here throughout the series. Zach Zenner at 8.5, Dexter McCluster 8.52, and then Kalen Balaj at 8.54. So that's kind of the range that you're looking at for Emery DiMercato. Should he get 80 opportunities, you're looking at what those guys were doing for career best seasons. Uh, that maximum output at 11.88, what would that look like? Well, getting in between 11.6 and 12.2, we got quite a few people there. Uh, looks like 11 total, but that's Matt Breida, Darren Sproles, Sean Green, Chase Edmonds, J.D. McKissick, Tavon Austin, Javante Williams, 
Travis Etienne, Naheem Heinz, Mike Tolbert, and Rashad Penny all sitting between 11.6 and 12.2 or 12.17, uh, which is kind of where Emery DiMarcato is falling in in terms of a max output. So, you know, should he receive his 100th percentile outcome, you're looking somewhere in between a Matt Breida and a Mike Tolbert or Rashad Penny level, you know, season. As we know, Rashad Penny been super efficient when he's had the ball, but um, not necessarily on a per game basis as he's been injured quite a bit in, in the seasons that he's played. But that's kind of the, the max output output for Emery DiMercato. But getting into those ranks for him, the mean and median we see at 34th, the minimum rank is the 29th best, and then that max rank, as I had alluded to before, is dead last at 36th. Those percentile outcome ranks, 34th, 35th, 34th and 34th with that M50 gap rank of 12. So 12th best M50 gap rank, but really that's because his other values are so low that uh, those are a little bit more squished together just because of that. But two and a half M50 gap, um, not very good when your mean and median outcomes are in the eight range. So it's kind of spread out compared to that in general. Anyway, that's going to do it for Mr. Emery DiMarcato and what he looks like in the machine learning model. So hopefully the R Studio model and the machine learning model give you that additional confidence in hitting the draft button on some of these prospects when you're going into it, doing a lot of analysis for each of these incoming rookies and just more info for you to process and make those decisions on. Appreciate it. That's going to do it again for today's Rookie Prospect Profile on Emery D. Mercado. This is presented by Zilla Fantasy Elite. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Every morning we drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble